Hi, Kelly, K-A-0-K-A-O with Cobblecraft. Got a little different cobble going on today out in the front yard. Um, it's Eclipse Day, so April 8th, 2024, and you may have heard about that eclipse. It just finished up, but I was running a little bit of um, ham work here in the background just to see how the bands were, and we're not doing too bad, but I want to show you something. What we're doing is a little bit out of the norm here. Sir, there we go. Let me turn this up so you can see if you can hear it. Yeah, looks like it's coming in. So that's the general idea here. We have a simple little uh, battery operated ham radio that we can take out into the field. Very easy to put together. It takes about 10 minutes to set up. And it's just a wire antenna. It goes out horizontally across the ground here, just a little ways above the ground in both directions. I have it tuned for 40 meters. And the general idea is when I have a regular ham antenna, it's trying to go off at an angle. You get it out there and then you skip it off the atmosphere and kind of bend around the circle of the earth. Sometimes it'll go so much it'll come in again behind you. But I am in a situation where we're doing some emergency radio testing uh, later this weekend. And we're going to be in a canyon, so we're thinking, how do we get out of this canyon? Well, you can't do that with a GMRS handheld radio, because obviously that is going to cause some problems. We could maybe set up a, a relay at the top of the hill, and they could call in to other people. But um, in this situation, we want to set up the ham radio, and we want to instead of bouncing those around the atmosphere we're going to send them straight up look at that you can kind of see my <laughs> the sun right above my head i better turn the way uh, other way around that eclipse will burn your eyes out i don't want that okay so this antenna is going to radiate straight up and straight back down 100 mile maybe 600 mile radius depending on my power and how well the atmosphere is working with me that's the general idea I uh, am kind of excited about it. We did a little bit of testing today, and a friend up in Fenimore, we're out by Dubuque, uh, the friend in Fenimore got me on a 5x5, five five, which is saying I was very readable on a scale of 1 to 5, and the signal was a 5 out of 9. So that's, that's doing pretty decent for a 20-watt radio. That's not too bad at all. Uh, a friend up here just north of me, uh, said that he could hear me, but that I was down in all the noise. And that kind of makes me wonder, this whole uh, antenna right here is set up on a line, and it's going almost directly north. So that tells me that maybe it's not radiating well in his direction. The Fenimore guy was kind of out more uh, at an angle from me, so... Well, that's something we'll have to keep in mind when we're trying to send signals. But anyway, I hope that helps, and I hope you got to enjoy that eclipse. Uh, don't know what kind of conspiracies and whatnot you heard, but the world is still here. Um, if you're into that Nineveh part they talked about, then maybe just uh, listen to what Jonah the prophet said about Nineveh, and we can all just repent. Think of something in your life that maybe should change and take it to God. At any rate... K-A-0-K-A-O will be clear.